Luque de Nove is a bit of a Renaissance man. You can often find him composing music in his office in Cambridge. A faculty member at Harvard Medical School, he has degrees in robotics and electronic engineering from Italy. And now he's CEO of X Surgical, a company building a portable robot that can be deployed into battlefields or remote locations to perform surgery. Instead of the patient going in an hospital, we can have a surgical robot going to the patient wherever he is. On the other end of the robot, miles away, is a doctor sitting at a control panel that looks very much like an oversized video game. From here, they can control different instruments attached to these arms as the surgery dictates. So when the surgeon moves the wrist, essentially the same happen on the surgical instrument. Robots are already being used in operating rooms, but doing it long distance presents challenges. Anytime you send a command to something via the internet, there's a delay. That delay could cause an instrument to move or cut too far. But if there is a delay in the communication, there is a delay on your, on, your, on your perception of the contact, so you might go through the tissue. Denovi says using artificial intelligence, they can anticipate that delay and teach the machine to make the cut more precise. The instrument also sends signals back to the surgeon's fingertips, so it feels like they're inside the patient's body. This is a stereoscopic endoscope, so there are two uh, different cameras. So using this and those two cameras, you actually have almost a three-dimensional view inside the body. Right now, X-Surgical is working to reduce the size of the robot to the size of a suitcase. And as they improve on artificial intelligence and training the robots, DeNovi thinks it's possible the machine could one day operate on its own. So why not a surgical robot that can become better than a surgeon, or at least match the performance of a surgeon in the next 30 years? So, I don't know. I mean, this is interesting, know. but the idea of surgery without a surgeon, Mike, I think for a lot of people is a little scary. Yeah, I have to admit, it does seem far-fetched right now, but 30 years ago, think about it, the idea of a self-driving car seemed very futuristic. Today, they're making test runs on city streets. It could be the same with autonomous robotic surgery. What's futuristic now may be the norm in a few decades. We'll see. It's very interesting to study.